a top European team. A new documentary explores the game through the eyes of one talented teenager. Tim Lister reports. On the streets of Luanda, a scrap of land in Accra, the slums of Nairobi, boys dream of using their feet to escape. and to follow their heroes into the big European leagues. Young African players, the talent, this is, it's unbelievable. A high proportion of those who are coming over are succeeding in Europe at the highest level. In Football Fables, filmmaker Baf Okoto follows 18-year-old Ghanaian Francis Bodhi in his quest to become a professional for the sake of his mum. When to me stop on this year, to see if like that. For Francis' manager, he's a big investment. You have to pay everybody. And even, even I don't mind even footing all those bills. Ultimately, you know, he's doing all this and investing in him financially, emotionally, everything. Looking for that payoff. There's no doubting the passion for football in Ghana and across Africa but the support and the talent is yet to be matched by organization. One of Ghana's greatest, Abedi Pele Ayo, now runs an academy in Accra. We are blessed with abundant talent in our continent, not only in Ghana, but the development program and the funds are what is, you know, not there. What is there scouring the continent are talent spotters from Europe, like Joe Mulberry. Yeah, heights of... Uh an issue obviously when you're recruiting and that all the boys measure themselves continuously. Competing with the club's international agents who are looking for more than just talent. You have to have that mental drive and that mental strength to keep going and then when you actually get into Europe the, um, the, the problems that you face as an African player are things that you have to be mentally ready to cope with as well. Culturally the, um, the challenges are I mean they're pretty they're pretty intense if you've never left West Africa, if you haven't left Accra, and you suddenly find yourself in the middle of a, a snowy playing field. After making Ghana's under-17 team, Francis is good enough to get a trial in England. I am first choice. I'm first choice. So when you're a club, you say, England, you go hard, you football. And many who watch the game say that ultimately Africa will benefit from exporting its best. An African country will lift the, the World Cup. I think it's just a matter of time because they're getting better and better and better. Tim Lister, CNN, Atlanta.